Hey, this is Mark Williams of Swine Life Barbecue. It's dinner time at Swine Life headquarters tonight. I'm gonna show you how we do fillets on the Griller Grills cone. Now the fillets are great, but they're not gonna be the star of the show tonight. We're making an anchovy steak butter to top these, and I know what you're thinking, anchovies on steak, but let me tell you, it is flat out awesome. We're not only topping the steaks with this anchovy butter, we're gonna to toss some good French fries in there. We're gonna have steak and fries tonight. It's gonna be one heck of a meal. Let's get started. So what we're gonna start with is three sticks of butter. It's room temp, so they're good and soft. Then we have our mushrooms. Now these mushrooms started out to be two cups of chopped mushrooms. I put them in a skillet, cooked all the moisture out of them, added two tablespoons of garlic, and you can see what we got. We cooked the mushrooms all the way down. They're good and dry now. That way it's not gonna add any kind of liquid or moisture to this butter as we get it mixed up. So we'll get that in there. We got a tablespoon of thyme, one heaping tablespoon of some finely chopped anchovies, now these were in oil. I tried to get as much of that oil off of them as I could. And we got a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now all we're gonna do is just get this mixed up good. These anchovies are add a great salty element. Brings out a lot of savory flavor. I was skeptical at first, but these anchovies make a great steak butter. It really brings out them beefy flavors. Now of course you won't need this much butter for these steaks, but hey, we're finna mix these in with these fries at the end. I keep a couple rolls in the fridge. We use this butter all the time. It's great. It has a great salty flavor, especially to vegetables or onions or anything like that. Once you get it good and mixed up, it's time to get it in some saran wrap and make our little logs of butter. We got a little piece of saran wrap here. Just gonna put a couple of dollops on here and I'll take it, start rolling it, twist the ends good and tight, and then that butter is ready to go in the fridge. Now these fillets have a little bit of silver skin on them. I'm not too worried about the fat, but I am gonna take some of this silver skin off the edge just cause I don't want to bat you on such a good piece of meat. So we're gonna shave that silver skin off. Leave the fat on the edges. Make sure this one don't have any. See right there? We just wanna get that off. We don't wanna have to chew on that. That's all we're doing to these. They got good marbling. These are just choice grades. But they looking pretty good. So of course on a filet, I'm gonna have to use my Mississippi grit. It's got a good salt, pepper, garlic. I'm gonna do a pretty good coat on them. Get it patted in, hit all the edges, and then come right back over the top of this one. Do the same thing to this one, pat it in, make sure we get all the edges on the cutting board. We're gonna let these fillets hang out on the cutting board while this cone comes up to temp, and then we're getting it on the pit. This Grilla Grills cones come right up over 500 degrees. Now what I have it set up is kind of like a two zone fire. I have Grilla Grills split diffuser in here. That way I got an extremely hot side. So then I have a side I can bring these fillets up nice and slow. So I'm gonna get them placed over on this hot side. And then we're just gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go a minute, give it a flip. All we want to do is build that good crust on the outside. Once we get the color we want, we're going over here on this cool side over the split diffuser. So we'll get the lid shut. Let it go for about a minute. We're just a little over a minute into the cook. See what we're looking like. Get these flipped over. I'm not too worried about grill marks. I'm just wanting to get a good crust on the outside, get some good color. We'll let them go just a little bit longer. We're gonna keep flipping them. So these fillets have been on about six minutes. We've been flipping them, keeping a good eye on them. We're just building that good color, that good crust on the outside. Now it's time to get them over on the cool side and top them with this anchovy steak butter. See what we're looking like? Look at that sizzle. That's a pretty fillet right there. Got good crust. Get it over here on that. Now I do have my Thermalworks dot here. So I'm gonna go in the center of the small one because I know it's gonna cook a little bit quicker. We're sitting at about 112. I'll go ahead and get these topped with this butter. Now that butter's gonna melt. All of them good ingredients we added is gonna stay on top of that steak and keep adding that flavor. So we'll get the lid shut. And we're gonna take these fillets to about 125, get that good medium rare, and then top it with some more of this butter. So we went to check on these. They were creeping up on 125 pretty quick. I verified them with Thermopin. We were in a fat pocket. Of course, we were reading a lot higher temp. I reprobed them. We're sitting at 107, more like what I was expecting to see. But she's climbing steady. We should be off in just a few minutes. The smaller fillet, it's beeping. It's telling us she's done this time. Go ahead and get it up here on this plate. I am gonna add me a little pad underneath it. We'll get the probe out. Now that we got the little one off, we'll go ahead and check the big one while we're in here. She's sitting at about 125 too. Go ahead and get it out of the way. Put a pad of butter on the plate. 
and then let them babies rest. We let the fillets rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. Of course, it gave us time to get these fries tossed in that butter, get it all plated on this butcher block, and let me tell you, that's my kind of steak and fries. Just as a quick recap, we start off two choice grade fillets. Got them seasoned with a little bit of Mississippi grit and then got them on the Griller Grills cone. Got a good crust on the outside, but what made these fillets what they are is we topped them with that anchovy steak butter. That garlic, that thyme, all them good flavors, and then of course we had to toss some fries in that steak butter at the end. Now I'm excited to try this. I'm over here looking at this plate of juice from them steaks resting. You know I'm finna to top these fries with it. So let me reach on over here, get this plate, and all this goodness finna go right down on the top of them. And that just set it off right there. Man, that looks awesome. You see that garlic and that thyme on top of them. Of course, a little bit of that anchovy. And that anchovy really complements this beef. I can't wait to dive into these fillets. So I'm gonna scoot these out of the way. I'm going for this big one right here. Of course, we're gonna cut it front and center so y'all can see the doneness on it. Shingle it on out there. And that's how I like my fillet. Good, medium rare, even a little bit on the rare side. That's what I love. And I'm not even gonna try to cut this whole thing. We finna go in here and we finna get us a bite. Get a little bit of that topping, dab it on top of that other piece. That's outstanding. I don't know any other way to explain that. That butter adds a good salty flavor. Of course, you taste the grit, but that butter really brings all the flavors to the table. You got that garlic. You don't even know that it's anchovies. It tastes just like a good, meaty, rich, just awesome flavor on top of this filet. Have to go on in, cut me a little thinner slice, top it with a little bit of fry. That's as good as a spoon any day. And those fries, that should be illegal. Good crispy on the outside. Hey, that old Ninja Air Fryer be hooking these fries up. But that butter brings so much flavor to the table. Even on these fries, this is an excellent meal. That's a wrap for us today at Swine Life. Y'all got to give this anchovy steak butter a try. Don't be intimidated. I know it sounds funny with that anchovy, but it brings a ton of great flavors to that beef and it makes these fries outstanding. If y'all got any questions, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see y'all next time.